what is happening people so a new gameplay video for shadow of war the sequel to shadow of mordor has just released super hyped for this game and i'm even more hyped that it's coming out as early as august this year so i'm super stoked to check this out I haven't seen any gameplay from this whatsoever so i can't wait to see how this game is going to be improved upon from the initial one i love the first one shadow of mordor i felt was a really underrated game I absolutely loved and I could not put it down as soon as I started playing it. So when this game was announced, of course, my hype is just skyrocketing and now I get to watch a gameplay for the very first time. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Ooh, the shivers. <laughs> All right. So playing in three, two, one. Montage. Fuck yes! Dragons? Fuck yes! An epic third person open world action RPG and the sequel to the award winning Shadow of Mordor. This walkthrough takes place many hours into the game, where we will show you one example of the epic personal stories created through the next generation of the revolutionary nemesis system. Oh yeah. To save Middle Earth, we will be journeying deep behind enemy lines and using the new ring of power to build nice. an army and conquer Mordor from within. On the world map, we see the many regions we can conquer. Every one of these regions is a distinct environment with unique enemies and allies, including overlords, war chiefs, captains, followers, fortresses, strongholds, missions, and more. Shit ton of stuff Today, to do, I love it. To attack and conquer the mountain valley of Saragost and take it from Sauron's overlord, Ur Hakon, the Dragon Lord. That guy looks like he's seen some shit. <laughs> Let's launch the assault. Yeah. Our armor versus theirs. Let's bring it in. Level 192? Okay. It's not only our enemies and the world that make You look a little different in this game. It's also our followers. Hmm. Rob Dug the Iron Mount has armored cavalry that can charge through the flames of artillery fire. The Demolisher is a living battering ram with the power to smash enemy defenses. With our followers at our side, we must first face the Stormbringer. The bright I fought for you, bled for you, and you looks badass. But I was reborn. His hand is like glowing with darkness. Has a history and personal grudge against us. He used to be part of our army before he betrayed us and joined the Dark Lord. He also carries a dark Not cool. curse which prevents us from using the power of the new ring. Come, charge into the flames of your reckoning. The Badass sword, too. Multiple fort defenses. What the, the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh, you get to brand trolls now? Yeah! Oh, fuck yes. Get him! Oh, shit. Our first objective will be nice. To through the main gate. Man, look at all this shit going on. Oh, crap. <laughs> that was close. Just look at all this mayhem happening. Damn. Destroy the gate! Parkour looks improved a little bit. Slash. Love it. <laughs> oh shit. 
Damn, that sword looks so cool. Kick his ass. Nice. Yeah. Kick him off the edge. Oh. Suffer me now. Damn. Ooh. Kick him off. Oh, dude, that's so cool! <laughs> Holy shit! As the demolisher breaches the gate, allowing our army to storm the fort. Do not fuck with that guy. Nice. Do it. Woo! Explosions. <laughs> what was that? It was like multiplied himself. How the fuck? I remember that move from the first game. Love it. I love how there's actual fortresses in this game. Like the last game, there were some, but in this game, they just seem more massive and a lot more populated. There are many ways to conquer a fort, from open combat to stealth and infiltration. Double kill? That was sick. Did he just bring that enemy over to me like fucking Scorpion? Come over here! Dead Eye has placed explosives, allowing us to sabotage the wall and outflank the defenders. Michael Bay presents another explosion. Wall breached. Loving it so far. I'm already sold. I just want to see what else they have to offer. Oh, he's back! What? Oh no, that's a different guy. Okay. My bad. They look pretty similar because they had the hood on. The spy is also able to help clear the way by sniping enemies. Nice. In Shadow of Mordor, the Nemesis system created memorable stories of bloodshed and revenge. In Shadow of War, your followers can create entirely new stories of loyalty, betrayal. Rivalry and even friendship. Nice. Gotcha. <laughs> it's like Sniper Elite. We've expanded the RPG systems in Shadow of War enormously. Good to hear. Steinbringer allows us to collect this epic armor of Rohan and equip it. Very nice. Yeah, because the first game didn't have that many options for armor customization. So I really like that. Another one. How's he going to get executed? Oh, and they're on fire. You know he means business. Sounds like the Joker. <laughs> Laughing his ass off because he's about to kill somebody. Oh, what's happening here? I'm covered in... Slime. Oh, shit. And he's dead. Damn, that sucks. Nice. Nice jump there. <laughs> Woo! Dr 
dragon. Yeah. If we can brand the dragons, I'm gonna lose my shit. What? What? Dude! This is fucking sick! Oh shit! Get him! No, don't hurt the dragon! Get him! Yeah, burn him! Oh. This is insane! You've terrified the flame of war. He's scared. The ring of power allows us to dominate the minds of our enemies. I am yours, Compelling them to join our growing army. Now, with the power of the new ring and the help of our followers, we've defeated the war chiefs. I can't believe you get to ride a dragon. That is fucking sick. Like, this puts the last game to shame. <laughs> it really does. There's all the new stuff they're putting in. in this fort, the Dragon Lord himself. It is time to take what is ours. The Dragon Lord or Overlord. Faced by every player will be unique to their world, and the throne room itself has been customized by the Overlord as his personal combat arena. Hmm. Looks like the Shadow Broker from Mass Effect 2. Kinda. In terms of size. That's a lot of spikes. What the hell is that? Looks like a bazooka. Oh shit! It's a fucking flamethrower. Oh, nice slide there. Nice. Decapitation. Just threw him like a football. <laughs> Love it. Oh shit. Look out for that. Just chopped that guy in like three pieces. It's not a true boss fight without his minions coming at you. Just execute them all, man. Oh, damn. This might hurt. <laughs> what? Oh! He's gonna get eaten! Or not. Shh, chop this leg off. Oh, there goes his arm! Enough for his head! Boom! Fort Saragost and this region of Mordor are ours. Love those executions. It shoots the beam up in the air like in Return of the King. Loot, new followers, and resources. It also creates a personal base from which we train our forces, increase our power. 
and upgrade our defenses against Sauron's counterattacks. Let's return to the army screen, where we can review our enemies and command our followers. We need to select one to become the new overlord, so he can spread his influence throughout the region, creating an entirely original nemesis fortress. Sweet. This war chief is a necromancer. He looks pretty cool. The fort in sorcery Mystic Savage. <laughs> this war chief is a beast master. He will allow us to turn the creatures of Mordor against our enemies. But we're going to promote Rag Dug, the war chief who charged through that artillery assault and helped us bring down Ord Hakon, the Dragon Lord. As a marauder, he can loot and pillage the region for us. Gets the new armor. Just like the first game. War chief promoted. With our new overlord in place, we can upgrade the fortress, increasing its defenses and enlarging the size and power of our army. The Nemesis system means that every element of this mission was dynamic and unique. No two players of the game will experience the same story. We will spread his power! This was just one step in our conquest of Mordor. One small example of the millions of unique stories players will create in Middle-earth Shadow of War. Aw, oh, yeah. There he is. For the bright lord. For the bright lord. Who is this? Four legendary orc champions and an epic sword. That was fucking badass of course obviously my favorite part was when he was riding the dragon but man they basically took everything about the first game or implementing it into this game and adding more stuff into it and making things even better which is exactly what every game sequel should be doing they're trying out new things as well absolutely digging this they sold me i'm totally going to be picking this up in august let me know what you guys think i am super high for this Oh man, that dragon, that fuck, I can't even talk. That dragon flying part though. Oh man, that, oh, so fucking sick. But let me know what you guys think. I cannot wait for this game. If you guys enjoy my reaction, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. I need to go fly on a dragon. Bye-bye.